Hi everyone and welcome to Crochet Rocks. My name is Tracy and this is my new channel. Um, I want to talk to you today about um, holding your your yarn, your hook and your work. It's a question that I've been asked a lot and um, also I've seen it on quite a lot of the Facebook groups that I belong to um, and the general consensus is that it doesn't matter. I've also seen an awful lot of posts where people are saying that they can no longer crochet because they um, they have repetitive strain injury, whether it's in the shoulder or the elbow. Um, I was taught a very long time ago, we, go in, we won't go into how long ago, by my mum when I was about six years old. Um, so my, the way I crochet is pretty old school. And um, consequently, the way I hold it, there's very little movement in my shoulder or my elbows. Um, I won't say that there is absolutely no movement whatsoever in your hands and wrists, but if you if I hold my my hook like a pen and this yarn round this finger and I hold the work with this hand, it enables me to give my work the absolute tension required at all times. I'm in complete control of this um, and it keeps your tension really nice. It also stops any movement in the elbow and the shoulder and therefore I think that alleviates that problem. Um, I do understand when you've learnt to crochet a certain way that it is really difficult to adjust um, and it's very difficult to see at this angle, I do apologise. Uh, yeah, it's really difficult to adjust to a new way but I do feel that it's worth persevering if you can because, you know, we all love to crochet and there's no way I'd like to stop just because of the there being pain in my elbow or my shoulder. Also with this way, um, after a while it enables you to build up speed, um, which, you know, when you've got a long project or you're, you're crocheting quite a lot, it's, uh, it's actually handy to build up the speed. But the most important thing for me is the fact that it keeps my tension completely um, and utterly the same all the way through. So you don't have to grip it really hard. You can loosen it off, you can tighten it. But holding this the way I do, like a pen, and my yarn in this finger, and my work in this finger, sometimes I can grip it here if I want to loosen it off. It, it just enables you to have so much more freedom um, and control, which uh, isn't can't be bad. Now this is a baby blanket that I'm making for my grandson Tyler. Um, when he was first born, I made quite a lot, but they're looking a little tired, so I thought I'd do a few more. I'm really pleased with the way it's turning out, so I'll probably do this as a tutorial at some point. But um, for now, I just wanted to share with you my pretty old school way of holding my yarn and my work. Um, just thought it might help some of you. Well, that's all for now. Um, as I said, it is a quite a new channel. And what I want to um, accomplish is something for the absolute beginner all the way up to intermediate and crochet along. So um, with your help, hopefully I can uh, achieve this. So if you could perhaps give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you click that little bell at the ne next to the subscribe button, um, you'll get the notifications whenever there's a new video. So until then, thank you very much for watching and uh, happy hooking.